So, Dandavat Pranams, everybody, welcome. Um, today we have Rajeshri Devidasi, um, and she's going to be cooking, she's in Singapore, and she's going to be cooking um, a vegetable biryani and a paneer tikka masala. So, we'll hand it now over to you. It is Hare Krishna. Let's pronounce to every devotees here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, vegetable biryani and paneer tikka masala. Okay, so first uh, we need to marinate the, uh, I'm going to show you how to marinate the paneer tikka masala, how we marinate the paneer and the vegetables. Here you can see I've chopped uh, paneer into small cubes and then we have red capsicum and green capsicum. So these are the vegetables plus the paneer that is going to be grilled. Tikka means something that is grilled or uh, cooked in a tandoor oven, like with smoky flavor. We don't have a tandoor oven or a grill here, a clay pot grill. So we're going to use a dosa tawa, something like a non-stick pan, and we cook all that uh, and make it a bit crispy and golden brown. Okay, for that, we need some yogurt. This is the marination. We are going to marinate all this paneer tikka. It has to put, uh, it has to marinate at least for half an hour. So I start marinating first, then I put my rice. So for that, you need about two tablespoons of yogurt. Okay, you can see, I've done two tablespoons of yogurt. And then uh, just one teaspoon of jeera powder. Jeera powder, one teaspoon. And then we have one, uh, two, uh, maybe one and a half teaspoons of garam masala. And then one teaspoon of chili powder. And one, maybe tablespoon of ginger, ground ginger. So, and a little bit of salt, salt to taste. Okay, I'm using pink Himalayan salt as usual. And some binder. I normally use some gram flour. You can use two tablespoons of gram flour. Gram flour also gives a very nice taste when you grill your paneer. So, you mix all this up nicely. This is going to marinate your paneer and your vegetables. Okay, with a nice stick. Don't add water because your paneer and your vegetables will give off some water. So this is enough. And a little bit of lemon juice. So just half a lemon water. Okay. Just give a good mix. And you add all your paneer. This is for the marination. With a good stir. Okay, I'll just show you some of it, how to marinate some of it. Okay. Okay, when you marinate, give a good mix like that. Make sure that all the parts of the paneer and the capsicum gets all the flavors, full flavors. So normally what happens is this goes into a tandoor. They skew it in a skewer and put it into the tandoor oven, then it gets very nicely crisp cooked in a clay pot oven. After that, make, uh, we make the gravy, the paneer gravy. Then we add this in the gravy. Then it'll be very nicely smoky flavor, it will have. So today we are going to grill it on something like that, a tawa, a dosa tawa, a non-stick one will do. You can oil it a little bit, yeah, okay, forgot. Here also you can add some oil. So when you're roasting it, it won't stick. Grilling it actually. Okay. Good stir. And let this marinate, but I'm just going to show you how we put it into the grill. All this, heat up your girdle, your kava, and leave it like that. And make sure that it all gets nicely brown. You can also actually use an oven. You know, if you have an oven, you can also use an oven to grill it. Okay? Uh, can I ask a question? Yes. Can, can you yes. just repeat what you mixed in there? Because I, I couldn't hear. Yes, I will, I will. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. So you leave it like this, nicely. You can uh, 
drizzle some ghee while you are doing it. Drizzle some ghee and then when they get brown and then turn it and turn it. For well, today, I have somebody to help me do this today. Okay, what I added here was two tablespoons of yogurt, two tablespoons of yogurt, and then uh, garam masala. I added one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoons of garam masala. You can get it in the Indian grocers, and uh, one teaspoon of chili powder, some lemon, half a lemon juice, some oil, maybe two tablespoons of oil, or you can even use ghee if you want. And this is grain flour. You know, this will bind everything and give a nice uh, nutty flavor also to your uh, paneer that you're going to grill it. Okay, and some salt. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. Or to taste, not to put too much of salt. Uh, then, if you're going to add salt later also, right? And then, I added some ginger. One tablespoon of ginger. Okay? Not many things. I think it's about four to five items only that goes inside. Ingredients that go inside there. It should be like this. You know? Mm -hmm. Oily. And okay. was that um, fresh ginger or powdered ginger? Yeah, fresh ginger, which I ground it. Fresh oh. ginger. Fresh ginger. Fresh, yeah, and I ground it into a paste. We will be using this quite a lot today. Okay, so you see, I didn't add any water, but it, it's all the water from the veggie and the paneer has come up and the lemon juice and the yogurt also. Okay, mm -hmm. so this will get, you can just put it in the oven and get it nicely golden brown, maybe half an hour, preheated oven, then this goes into your paneer gravy. So let this marinate now. And now I'm going to go and do the rice. Okay, why I did this first? Because it needs to marinate. Okay, give me some time. I will go to my rice cooker. Today we are going to cook rice in the rice cooker. Okay, it's easier and faster also. Okay, and the rice won't get so mushy. Okay, so let's go to the rice cooker now. I'm going to carry all this over there. I want to show the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, one yeah. question okay. also, did he? Yeah, can, can, can. Please ask questions. Uh, Krishna Keshavadas, you want to ask the question? Yes, yeah. Prabhu? Yes, Dandavas. Sorry, it's night here in Singapore now, so we only this lighting is <laughs> available. If not, we can do it outside in the garden, very bright and nice. So, okay, Prabhu, ask me yeah. some questions. It's good that you see, ask me so We can see everything very nicely. Yes, thank um, you. Um, did you fry the paneer before you put it in that bowl? Is it like, no, no. it's just, you just curd? It's just, it's just yeah, curd. it's just paneer. Now we are going to grill it. If we fry it, then it won't be able to absorb all the marination, the yogurt marination. So we're not frying it. Now we are going to grill it or you can put it in an oven. It's easier. Oven is also very nice. Roast it in the oven. So I did not fry the paneer. And anyone is, who is frying paneer, after frying, put it in the water. It gets dried up because it's milk, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So we are here at the rice cooker station. Today we'll be moving to three stations. You can see all my biryani. <laughs> I think there's about 20 items. I can go through one by one. I'll go slow on the rice here. Why I use the rice cooker is also a bit easier. Because I've tried the dumb method, uh, very a lot of techniques involved and very, very tedious. When we are like, just want to cook biryani for many devotees that, that we need really big pots and really big fire there. So uh, also cooked in the tandoor, very nice. I'm going to use a rice cooker. So come on guys, let's go a bit here. Uh, for this, I'm going to use some ghee, two tablespoons of ghee, okay? And it's very, very nice if you use ghee. I used actually three tablespoons. So remember, three tablespoons of ghee. I'll try and go slow with this. And then our jeera. Okay, once your ghee gets hot, add some jeera, cumin seeds. You can go with uh, two teaspoons of it. You can add a little bit more if you like jeera. Jeera always gives a very nice uh, 
taste, when you bite into the rice, some jira comes in, it's quite nice. It's also healthy. Okay, so we add some jira here. Okay, I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing direct rice cooker method. Okay, and then we have just a couple of bay leaves, a couple of bay leaves, a must, a must for all biryanis. Okay, let's go with a couple of bay leaves. And then these are the spices, the Indian spices. Okay, we'll have like, yeah, two cinnamon sticks. You can add one more extra if you like cinnamon. This is maize. You, if you don't have it, it's all right. But it gives a good, nice aroma for your um, biryani. Okay, these are essentials like cardamoms. Also a couple of them. These are small cardamoms. So I'm doing like five, six of them. If you have big ones, you can use a bit lesser. Then also star anise. Sweetness, it adds sweetness to your biryani. I have uh, four star in this here. And then, uh, did I add cloves? Yeah, and some cloves. Everything is about four or five pieces. Four or five pieces will do. This will add very nice uh, flavor and smell to your biryani. Okay, so far we have uh, jira. <laughs> all the spices here. Hope you all can see it. Okay, we have jira here. We have uh, maize. Um, star anise, cardamoms, uh, cinnamon stick, and bay leaf. Okay, so these are the uh, things that I've added inside. These are the ingredients I've added inside. Okay, I also add cashews because cashews are really, really nice um, when you add in the biryani. Okay, because you know biryani is a lot of meat. We are not doing that. So cashews also has lots of protein for us. So, and cashews, when you fry them in ghee, they really give a very nice aroma and the oil gets nicely flavored with cashews. Okay, so let it be a bit golden brown, get a bit golden brown, then it's really nice. Okay, okay I'm going to add a bit more so that I can just take it out and use it as a garnish also later. Okay. I know Kanukriya will put up the recipe later. It's, it's a lot. It's like 20 over ingredients. So uh, <laughs> you can get the recipe later. Okay. So what I do is you can fry some of your cardamom um, cashews in ghee and keep it separately. Uh, today I'm, I'm just going to show you, show you all from here. Okay, the cashews are getting a little bit brown. Uh, so I can actually take it out. For our garnish later. Just a few. You can even add um, um, raisins, you know, and make your biryani a little sweet. Okay, I'm just going to dig out a few so that I can use it for my garnish later. Okay, you will see it's nicely cooked, slightly golden brown, but it is cooked. Okay, we'll use it for our garnish on the rice later. So now we add our ginger. Okay, uh, I'm using four cups of basmati rice. Four cups of basmati rice. So for that, we add a full. I'm using two tablespoons. So this is like roughly one tablespoon and another tablespoon. Okay, like two tablespoons is enough. Okay, so that goes nicely. Oh, the camera, the camera lady here is getting all the splashes of the oil. It's nice, very nice. Okay, this is some ingredient. If you have it, you can use it. This is called the pandan leaf. Okay, if you have it, you can use it. It really gives a good smell and aroma to your uh, biryani. We, we get it. This is like more Asian, I would say. So we get it. Now, if you don't have it, you can get um, kewar water. Kewar water. And that is actually the extract of the pandan juice. Okay, now I'm going to add all the other ingredients quickly so that some, maybe some, uh, some moisture so you won't splutter so much. A handful of coriander leaves. Okay, this also gives a very nice flavor. So I'm going to add some, introduce some moisture so that it won't splutter too much. And I'm going to add my masalas. Also, biryani, important. Not too much of masalas, okay? We have about one teaspoon one teaspoon of um, jeera powder. Jeera powder 
and also two teaspoons of coriander powder. Two teaspoons of coriander powder and just a little bit, just to add some color. One teaspoon of chili powder. Just to add, just add it where it's not burning so much. I don't want the masalas to burn so much. Just don't stir first, just keep on adding. And then did I miss out any masala? Yeah, and a little bit of turmeric. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. And uh, the most important, okay, for every biryani, they have biryani masala. You can also, if you can get it, you add that biryani masala and lesser of the garam masala. Today, I'm not using biryani masala because um, I have only uh, garam masala. Biryani masala also you can add. If you're adding biryani masala, lesser of this. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of garam masala. Okay, all these spices that I, I showed you just now, yeah, good friends. <laughs> so they grind up to become the garam masala. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of garam masala. Okay, so now, and uh, yeah, okay. So we give a good stir for the masalas, let it roast here, and we get the masala smell off. Okay, this you have already actually got your biryani based masala. Okay. If you like a little bit more chili, you can add. So now we are going to add all the paste, the creamy paste to the biryani rice. Okay, the creamy paste will be oh no, ginger. Did I add ginger? No, I haven't. Added. Yeah, I did add ginger. Sorry. <laughs> I did add ginger, so I'm going to do cashew paste. Okay, cashew paste. Also, it adds nice creaminess to your rice. I'm adding two tablespoons. Okay, and it also, this is a smaller spoon, so I've used four of it. Uh, it's equivalent to two tablespoons. Okay, and then uh, yogurt also. Yogurt uh, keeps your biryani very moist and soft. Also, two tablespoons of it. Two tablespoons of yogurt. Uh, try not to get a very sourish yogurt. You don't want your biryani to be sour at the end. So I've added two tablespoons of cashew uh, ground, cashew paste. I soaked it in water and ground it. And then uh, two tablespoons of yogurt. Okay, this is all nicely sizzling. Okay, so I shall add some tomatoes also at this point because we need some moisture if not i've added two medium sized tomatoes two medium sized tomatoes okay give a good stir we don't want it to cook overcook and uh, and tomatoes become very mushy then it will be tomato rice so i've added a couple of things okay now some salt mm, where's my salt yes some salt is here Okay, I'm just adding to taste, maybe two teaspoons for four cups of rice. Okay, add to taste. I'm using Himalayan salt always. <laughs> okay, now it's all sizzling and cooking. Okay. Okay, since it's vegetable biryani, now at this point, we are going to add in all the vegetables. Okay, let's say you want paneer biryani, you can add paneer now. You want soy biryani, soy chunks, you can add soy chunks, potatoes, anything that you want, you can add it right now. So I'm going to add a bowl full of green capsicum. Okay, these are the hard vegetables. A bowl full of uh, beans. I've chopped them all nicely, bite size, and all at the... Uh, if you see, everything is at the same size because all cooks evenly. If one is big, one is small, then they won't cook so evenly. A bowl of carrots chopped nicely, also same size. You can see the beans and carrots and everything will be about the same size. And a bowl full of green peas. Okay, it's full of vegetables. And then a bowl full of cauliflower. Okay, what I've done today is some potatoes. It's really nice, the biryani with the potatoes, once the masala mixed with the uh, potatoes, it's really nice. Okay, so I'm, I, okay, sorry, I fried the potatoes to give that, that, that nice caramel <laughs> feeling, uh, taste, but you can also boil them. If you have baby potatoes, it will be nice too. So you just add all the potatoes in. I've uh, used two big large potatoes. 
two large potatoes. Now, the vegetables is up to you. You, you don't need like exact measurement. If you see today, I've used four cups of this cup of rice, the normal measuring cup of rice. Uh, and that four cups, I'm used, I've used a bowl. Uh, this, this measuring bowl, actually, medium-sized bowl of vegetables and everything. Okay. If you want more vegetables, you can always add them. Okay, it's so all cooking very, very nicely. Very colorful. Okay. If you have biryani masala, you can add. If you want, you can also make your own biryani masala. You can see it all coming out nicely. This must cook a little bit. Okay. 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 This must cook a little bit. Just let them cook, half cook. The rice is going to be cooking with the rice. What I did was I took, this is basmati rice. I'm sure it's available there. Okay, get the, the old ones. The new ones, they are a bit soft and mushy. Okay, I always try to buy the old basmati rice for biryanis because uh, they will still stay firm and long and uh, nice. So I soaked this for half an hour. Washed, drained, and soaked it. For half an hour. So I've used four cups of um, rice and later we will use about five cups of water. So if you have four cups of rice, we use five cups of water. Just one more extra and it will cook very nicely. So let this cook and some of the water from the vegetables also will come out. Okay. Nice. You don't want to overcook the vegetables because uh, the vegetables will be cooking with the rice also. Okay, so what you can do now, once it's sizzling hot and nice, four cups of water. Because my rice is four cups, uh, five cups of water. <laughs> Lucky of my wonderful niece to remind me. <laughs> okay, two, right? Two, uh, three, four. And then the, yeah, another one more cup, five. Exactly. Wow. Okay. So what we do now is five cups of water here. We give it a good stir. Okay. Give it a good stir. And then we're going to add the rice in. Okay. Let, let it boil a little bit. Just let it boil a little bit. Then we start adding the Rice. What happens in a dum biryani, the, the other one, the layered one is we don't use rice cooker. At this stage, uh, we actually put the rice in and we cover this. We seal this whole thing uh, with uh, dough, actually. Some dough or something very tight or heavy pan. Uh, we use a heavy lid. Uh, even a very heavy pan will do very, very nice. Heavy butter and it will cook very slowly. And what happens is all this moisture will go into the rice. And for that, we actually cook the rice 80%, 70 to 80%. We boil it, then we put it inside here. Then we seal it with all the flour and the dough here with a heavy lid. And the rice cooks with the steam that is coming out. Of course, it's more flavorful. <laughs> you can try it at home. At this stage, you what you do is you cook your rice about 70%. Then you add it inside here. But don't stir. Just add and cover it up. Okay, we'll, we'll go through next time. We'll do the Hyderabad Dum Briyani. It's really nice. Okay, the, the, the water is boiling now. So what we do is, I've already washed this rice and soaked it for half an hour. So we throw the rice in like this. Okay, some of you would like to actually stir the rice up with the gravy. Uh, I don't do that because sometimes I like the rice to be as it is. And then, uh, very nice. Okay, you've got all your rice in. Don't even base a grain of rice. <laughs> so I'm going to use my hands to do it. Okay, done. Okay, what we do is we layer it nicely. Okay. You can see the water is, is just nice. Uh, no, later, later. Okay, maybe I'll just add one more cup of, a half more cup of water. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. Just show you. Okay. You can add 
another half more cup. I, I find it's not so enough because I do cook rice quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. So as it, as it is covering, we all know, you know, when the rice, it needs to cover a little bit. So this is like enough. Okay. What you can do is put one gallon of ghee on top, some coriander leaves, and some mint leaves. Okay, so now we're going to close it and let it cook. And then we'll come back and see what happens. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook this. And let's uh, see what we can do with the paneer tikka masala. Okay, so far, that's done. <laughs> okay, now I shall go to uh, arrange the paneer tikka masala and then I'll come back to you. Okay, okay. Also, also, I forgot if you want some chilies, green chilies, you can put it. At the beginning, when you're sauteing with the veggie, I forgot. Okay, now we shall do the paneer tikka masala. Okay, then for that, we need all the ginger and all the stuff. Okay, so now we Rajeshwari Didi, are you there? Yes, I am. I am. I'm just preparing and arranging all my uh, items. It's on for Okay, so now uh, you can see there's my... A, there's, um, there's a question, Didi, on the biryani. Uh-huh. Yes, Didi. Um, Praneshwari Didi would like to ask, mm -hmm. what explanation for not mixing the rice? But gently... Uh, yeah. yeah, you can mix the rice. Uh, later I'll show you when it's cooked, you can see the rice is like separately, then you can mix all the other things. If not, uh, when you're uh, eating, when the masala is just around the vegetables, it's more nicer. It just doesn't get too mushy. You'll feel the rice, which has a little bit of flavor, plus the vegetables, which is separately still coated with the uh, masala, still coated. So that's what I, I always do that. Like it's a bit of a dumb biryani, but cooked in a rice rice cooker. <laughs> okay, Didi? Okay, I'll, I shall show you the uh, paneer tikka masala. Okay, paneer tikka masala, we have like three steps actually. Also three steps. One is like we just finished the marination step. And now we are going to cook the uh, tomato and the uh, capsicum, great capsicum for that. Uh, usually, paneer tikka masala and all that, we have lots of onions and garlic and everything. So I always uh, found replacements like capsicum. Uh, we need gravy, right? We need gravy. If we are just going to use ginger, we might not get lots of the gravy. So uh, what I do is I use lots of tomato, lots of cashew nuts, lots of uh, almond uh, paste and capsicum. That's also my secret, like uh, lots of red capsicum. Uh, to create the gravies uh, and yogurt, milk. So we shall uh, start doing this now. Okay, some rice that's cooked inside. Okay, same. Uh, okay. Uh, we shall cook the, yeah, we'll add some ghee. Same thing, we'll add some ghee here. I added a little bit of oil, one tablespoon of oil and 
one tablespoon of ghee. For that, we need uh, to add, wait a minute, some jeera. Okay, we're just going to saute the capsicum and the tomato, and then it goes into the gravy. It, it will become our gravy. We'll blend it, and that will become our gravy. Okay, now there is a jeera, jeera small jeera seeds there, just a bit, a pinch of it. Uh, I also have, hmm, can, can, you want to go over there? I also have uh, jeera powder later. So just a little bit of jeera goes in there and our ginger. So also, okay, let's have it, two tablespoons of ginger. Okay, two tablespoons. Okay, and okay. Okay, now we can see all that is nicely cooking, sizzling. Okay, just a minute. I'm back. I need some cashew nuts for this. So later, after this gets cooked and then we blend this uh, this whole mixture, then we will do another sauteing of the whole honey uh, tikka masala. Okay, we're going to put it in the food. Yeah. Okay, just let the ginger become a bit more brownish. Then it will be very nice. Okay, very nicely seasoning. We'll add the cashew nuts. I got about 20 pieces of cashew nuts also roasting together. When it's all, um, uh, when we blend this, it will also add the gravy part to the chicken tikka masala. Not chicken, paneer tikka masala. <laughs> you know, the chicken tikka masala is a very famous thing. That's where we get all the recipes from also, omitting. But of course, you can do a soy tikka uh, masala also. Okay, get it a little bit cooked, the cashew nuts. Okay, good. And um, I love coriander because we're going to blend it. So a handful of coriander will be very, very nice. So for this, I've added four medium-sized tomatoes. I've chopped them. And two red capsicum. Two red capsicum. I've chopped them like that. Okay. Okay, just cook it. And you add all this in. So okay, this is going to... Give you the base for your baby. Okay. It has to cook very nicely. So remember, four large or four medium-sized tomatoes and two capsicum. The capsicum also gives very nice flavor, plus red capsicum, plus it adds to the color, very nice, vibrant color. Yeah. And I have about 20 cashew nuts inside also. Okay, we will add some uh, salt, like two teaspoons of salt, so that we can get uh, the tomatoes all mashed up. Okay, some chili, if you want spice, if you don't want spice, you can omit this whole thing, but here, Whoever is going to eat this, like lots of spice. So I'm going to add this chili. I'm adding about uh, four chili diced into halves, cut into halves. Okay. This is about it. When it gets a bit soft and uh, mushy, we're going to send it to the blender. Okay, to this, we can add some water, okay? Yeah, I'm going to add some water, maybe two cups of water, so that this cooks up very nicely. Take some time to cook. Okay. Cook it until it uh, gets very mushy and smooth. 
you know, then it's easier to blend and then you don't have to cook the gravy for very long. You simply cook it here, you know, because after that, your gravy will be a little bit more creamier with more cashew uh, paste and all, it'll, it'll start burning. So at this point, when you cook it soft and nice, it'll be easier later. When it's a gravy, then it's going to be a little bit more uh, difficult to stir, it'll start burning. So this is a good time uh, you add water, but of course your blender, if you're afraid that you get hot, hot uh, when you're going to blend this, you can add some cold water also. Then you bring down the temperature. You can actually uh, grill the paneer and the capsicum, you know, in the oven. But the best is a tandoor, a clay pot tandoor. Uh, but normally I do this, but if you really, really don't have the time, you can actually add this straight into the paint. You know, if you want that extra crispiness, the smokiness, then you do this thing. You know, and tikka means grilled. Charcoal grilled, actually. Okay, you'll sand this once it gets a bit soft. Okay. So over here, what we did was uh, we added some ghee. Two tablespoons, tablespoons of ghee, a pinch of jeera, whole seeds, uh, ginger, two tablespoons, and then cashew nuts, cashew nuts, about 20, uh, 20 cashew nuts, some green chili if you want the chili there, and then four medium sized tomatoes, chopped, two red cups, and two cups of water. Actually, you can use this same method, you know, to make any other gravy also. Many, many curries, you can do this. You know, that's how I make many, many curries, uh, even soy curry. Then you omit the other things like the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you can omit the other things, you know. If, with this base as a gravy, you know, most of the times we don't have a gravy uh, when we're eating because lots of ginger, we are only using that. So you have capsicum and tomatoes. You can have nice gravy to eat. And, and Gurudev loves that. When he came to Singapore, he says, I want the Ross. I think he called it the juice or the gravy. He says the Ross. So I was so happy. And I made a mutter paneer for him. And this is the same uh, gravy you can use. Even if you're making a mutter paneer. You know? And then this the same gravy. Maybe lesser tomato or lesser anything. But the same, almost the same gravy. And you, if you want to do a paneer tikka masala, the other one, the spinach one, palak paneer, also same. Instead of the tomato, add the palak. But the same thing, ginger and the um, coriander and the cashew nut. Then you can get the palak paneer. Okay, this is cooking very well. Nice. Okay, okay maybe I will just uh, off this and send it to the blender. And then we'll come back to make the gravy. Okay? Now if, if you are home, just cook it a little bit more. Uh, here, I'm going to cook later, another 20 minutes or half an hour since uh, we don't have so much time. <laughs> we want to, yeah. Okay, I'm going to remove this and blend it and cook it again. But if you are doing it at home, another 10 minutes will do. Okay? Nice. Okay, you should that yeah, while I remove this.
send this to blend, but it is very hot. So I'm going to add some ice to it, some ice cube, so that my blender won't explode. So you can also do the same thing. To cool it fast, or just keep it in your fridge for a little while. Okay? So that's done. Okay, so now we'll go back here. I will uh, saute the uh, masala for the paneer tikka. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, yeah, turn and then let it brown. Okay, for this also, we are going to go back to our ghee. Of course, if you are afraid about health and all that, ghee is actually very good. <laughs> One tablespoon of ghee here. You can use oil. If, you know, you don't want to so much, you can use oil. Olive oil or any preference, healthy oil is okay. Okay, please start. Hold on. So we're blending. Nobody's done. That's a wonder. Okay. So for this, also say back again, all our spices. Okay. Jira, two teaspoons of jira. This is the final gravy, the third step for the paneer tikka masala. The third step. We are doing the third step now. So also same spices, two cinnamon sticks, some cardamom, and some cloves, some star anings. And you can add this a little bit. If you like masalas, you can add a little bit more. Okay. Again, our ginger. Okay, I need and have some more little bit more ginger. I'll get it. It's fine. Look in those. Here you go. Okay. Uh, I will add the same thing. Two tablespoons to be easier. This amount I'm making is about one liter. So two tablespoons of ginger is okay. But if you like a more gingery flavor, you can always. I'm going to find a bit more ginger to add here. This is like um, the last part of the paneer tikka masala. Okay, nice. After this, we'll go back to the rice when this uh, the, the tomato and the capsicum that I um, cooked just now gets blended. Okay, thank you, Pushpa. We'll go for the ginger. So, like two tablespoons of ginger. I like ginger actually. It's very nice. Smell very good. Okay, again, again. Get it brown a little bit, the ginger. Get it brown. Okay, at this point, you can actually add all your uh, masalas. Again, same masala. Okay, if you don't want it so spicy, then lesser. For the paneer tikka masala, uh, about one tablespoon of uh, chili powder. 1.5 maybe, 1.5 tablespoon of chili powder. And then same, garam masala. When you add your uh, masala powders, don't start stirring first. Let it be there in the middle so that they don't get burnt. Uh, about two teaspoons of garam masala. Okay. One teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then jeera powder. Because we have added as a whole. Plus also, yeah, two teaspoons worth. This is like amounting to two teaspoons. Okay, do not stir because you don't want the masalas to burn while you're doing this. Okay, for this, Paneer tikka masala, very important, is the coriander powder. Okay, so we have coriander powder, about uh, one and a half tablespoons. Okay, I've used three of these spoons. This is like the small spoon. Okay, one and a half, three spoons, so one and a half tablespoons of coriander powder. Okay, almost done. I've covered everything. A little salt. Okay, about two teaspoons of salt. Later, you can add it if you think it's not enough. Okay. And you give up good stuff. Now you can roast it. But make sure you have all the, a little bit of wet things with you. Okay. Always roast your masalas. And you can give a very good flavor. And I have some coriander here. A handful of coriander. Still, we can use that. Okay, sorry, just now I forgot to add the bay leaves. Important. 
you can add it now also. Two or three pieces of bay leaves. Okay, uh, say it in a minute, yeah. okay. We are done now. Actually, you can see the masalas being roasted nicely. Okay. Uh, in a minute, yeah. Okay. Now this is done. We're going to get whatever we cooked just now, tomato and the capsicum, to be blended, then we'll come back here. So you'll get this and you can leave it. Actually, I want to add some yogurt also, I forgot. About two tablespoons. We had yogurt in the paneer just now. So another one tablespoon of yogurt. And I also going to add one big tablespoon of cashew paste. Cashew paste is okay. One point, one and a half tablespoons actually of cashew paste. So I've added that, some liquid. You can just stir it so it won't get burnt. Okay. Add everything inside. <laughs> My camera woman <laughs> gets to wipe her, 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 her sweat. <laughs> okay. It's really nice. Okay, this gravy will look will be added into the, the tomato and the capsicum paste will come into this. Okay, so let this all cook nicely. Uh, actually, it's enough. You can off it. And now I'm going to bring you all to the rice and see whether the rice is cooked. Okay? Yeah, there's extra lighting coming in here. <laughs> so this, it should look like this. Okay? If you want more chili powder, you can add more uh, chili. Okay, I've added everything. The salt, uh, the masalas, the spices, everything here. The coriander seeds, uh, coriander powder, two tablespoons, garam masala, two teaspoons, uh, red chili powder, one and a half tablespoons, and ginger paste, ground ginger, two tablespoons. And then we used ghee most of the time. You can see my ghee is gone now. Some coriander leaves and uh, some turmeric powder, one teaspoon turmeric powder and two teaspoons garam masala. Okay, so we are done with this. Let it all simmer here. Then we'll come back here once it's blended. You can make your flame very low and go to the rice and let's check out the rice now. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we have the rice. Okay, now I think they just cool down so it won't explode our <laughs> machine. So once this is blended, we'll go into that masala that is simmering now. Okay, let's go here. The rice. Nice. Okay, we're going to open the rice now. See what it's already in the warm. It took about 15 minutes. Yeah, around 15 minutes. Let's see. Okay, you can see the rice now. Can you see? Okay, so what we do now is sprinkle some. Yeah, yeah, still. Okay, uh, sprinkle some. Paneer. This is paneer. Uh, rose water. Okay. So what we do is we sprinkle it. So a very good aroma. And if you want, you can add coloring. I don't add any coloring. You can add um, saffron. I don't have saffron also. You can put some saffron strands and it will give a good color. So this is what I meant, Didi. Uh, the rice has cooked on its own. It has also got all the flavors of whatever we have put. It has all the steam has come up into the rice. So when you eat, you can also feel the rice. If you are going to stir, you can actually stir it all up, like uh, with the vegetables and water just now. But I just um, like it. You can try both ways. You know, it won't get so mushy, and the rice is really, really well cooked. Okay, so I added um, five and a half cups of water. So sometimes the basmati rice. Is, is the old one. So you can add a little bit extra water. Okay, even if it's like really not cooked, you can add just one more cup of water and on it again. So I'm going to stir and fluff it up so that you can actually see what's at the bottom. When you're serving, normally we sell, serve some of the rice and dig out the vegetables. Let's see what happens, what comes up. Wow, very nice vegetables are coming up. You can stir it and you can see the vegetables are... Oh, I have a bit of a rice cooker. Oh yeah, this rice cooker always burns a little bit at the bottom. Let's put it here. Okay. If otherwise, it's really coming up. 
very nice. You can just stir it. The potatoes will be really, really nice, actually. Okay, so this is like the nice vegetable biryani. Okay, very wonderful. Nice. Don't overcook the vegetables because they are going to cook with the rice. So how is it, Didi? Wow, it's not amazing. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, it was quite easy, right? So I also want to make the ingredients easy and uh, for everyone to follow. And so that's why I used the rice cooker. Okay, next time, a more difficult version. You get this, whatever happens, I'm going to off the rice cooker so that it doesn't burn a bit more below. But whatever happens, if you use the rice cooker, it will come out exactly like this. Okay, so you can use soy chunks, paneer chunks, anything. And even if you feel that you want to add a bit more ghee, you can add more garnish, everything can be added. Okay, so <laughs> my sister is so happy seeing the rice. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll offer after that. Uh, we can blend the blend blend the uh, tomato and the capsicum, and then we are done with all our cooking for the day. <laughs> can I ask one question, Didi, about the biryani? Can you cook it in like a clay pot with a lid? One minute, Didi. I'm coming back. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, come. Yeah. Yes, ask me, Didi. Can you come. cook the biryani in like a clay pot with a with a lid and put in the oven or not? Uh yeah. Well, say again, say again, Didi, your question again. The biryani, can you 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 mentioned there's different ways to cook the biryani. Can you cook yes. it in like a clay oven, like a clay pot that has a lid? Yes, can, can. Very nice. Thanks. You can cover. Exactly this method. Oh. Yeah, you can add a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. You know, that all cooks all in the steam. That's like mm -hmm. the best biryani. When it cooks in that steam water, that all the flavorful water, it, it, the steam rises and then the rice, all the rice cooks with that steam. And it's really a, bit, a, a little bit more tasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe next time. That's like, you know, in India, they do it layer after layer after layer. That's really nice. We can we can try it in the next time. But this is like a more simpler version of the vegetable biryani. Nice. And this goes very well with salads. We can do uh, some small salad actually. <laughs> I have some cucumber. Yeah, we'll do some cucumber salad uh, to go with it. So when we offer it, it's nice, like very complete. You know, you can break the cucumber. There's many methods. You can do raita also. Carrot raita, very, very nice with this biryani. Actually, this biryani can be eaten on its own, really. just on its own, you can eat it. Okay. Very fresh. Yeah, it's almost uh, what, nine in Singapore. <laughs> so, we will offer this nicely later. Okay. And also with some tomatoes, it's very nice. Okay, some pineapple. Some pineapple really nice with the biryani because uh, you can find a bit of a spiciness in your biryani with all the spices. So when some pineapple goes in, really nice. And then for some garnish, we can always use some tomatoes. When you want to serve nicely with some garnish, you can put coriander, you can put mint, everything. You know, and you serve it nicely to put it in. <laughs> okay, nice. So we have a salad made also now. Okay, mm -hmm. later we will do some offering. Okay, now we'll go back to our masala. Let's see what's boiling over there. Okay, sorry. Okay, if you can see, it will be all blended like this. Okay, we have blended some. Another one more lot of blending is going on, but I'm going to add it here. Okay, this is added here. Nice. Okay, so what we do is, okay, uh, just a little bit more blending, one more noise is going to come. Never mind, sing the same thing. What is the noise? So you just stir it up nicely like this. Okay. 
okay and give it a pop. Okay, we've got one more lot of blended uh, tomato and the capsicum. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, so now tikka masala, tikka masala gravy. And final stage of it. Okay. Yeah. If you want it more redder, you can add more. Yeah, some water for it to cook up nicely. You can add more, a bit more water, one more cup of water, and done. If you want it more redder, then you add more uh, chili, chili powder, or even Kashmiri chili. They have very nice uh, color. Okay, but if you see, if you buy it in the shop, they get you come really, really red, and then you know they are using some food color. So we don't do that. We get it to the original. If, even you can use butter, no? then it becomes butter tikka masala. You can use uh, many, many other things. Even potatoes, as I said, soy. Even you've got milk things, you can just put inside. Okay, we are done now. Let it boil. And the uh, whatever we have roasted, the paneer and the capsicum, we are going to add it once it boils. And one more last thing. This is kasturi menti. For a lot of North Indian dishes, they will use this. Kasturi methi. I think fenugreek leaves. Okay, this really has a very, very strong flavor and smell. So don't use too much of it, even though they have lots of health benefits. Maybe you can take it as a tea, but for this, very sporadically. Maybe this is enough. Maybe this is enough. So you just sprinkle a little on it. Just a pinch of it. It has a very strong smell, but it's really nice with the uh, paneer. Okay, let this boil, and then we're going to add all our uh, paneer that has been grilled. Okay, so that this will go very well with the biryani rice <laughs> and the salad. Okay. Nice. Okay, my niece has been really nice <laughs> holding the laptop with some lighting <laughs> better than Yuga. <laughs> Sorry, Yuga. <laughs> well, Yuga is the best. Yuga is like really the best cameraman. <laughs> yeah, so nice. Yuga has helped me so many times. But today my niece is, uh, was his uh, assistant. Now she's also learning. <laughs> she was so nervous, but she's really doing well. She's okay, you can see the bubbles. Yes. <laughs> If you want some color, you can add more like Kashmiri chili or what for the, just the appearance. You can see because uh, we have added lots of cashew uh, paste, so it's a bit milky. You can also add um, heavy cream. You know, many of them like it, like it with a bit of heavy cream. You can add it at the end, but I'm not going to add it. You can add some coconut milk also. You know, just, just be very creative. That's how I, uh, I make many dishes, <laughs> trying to... Um, you know, find, find, like, uh, you know, create new dishes, uh, experiments, and that's how they all come. Because, you know, we have to eat, like, nice, tasty vegetarian food. <laughs> yeah, so nice. It's all bubbling up. So let's add the paneer now. Okay, grilled paneer is coming. Thank you. Yeah. You can see very nicely grilled. You can also throw it in your oven and uh, bring it up to this stage. Nicely, you can see the, the chart. And this is going to be like really nice, you know, the crispy version. Okay, so you can throw it in the oven and if you have a nice tandoor oven, it's more nicer, like a clay pot oven. So now we shall drop this into our gravy. Really delicious, ladies. Really delicious. Really can't offer it to y'all. <laughs> Wish y'all are here every week. I tell them, tell that to y'all. Wish y'all are here to try this. Okay, so you give a good stuff. You could give a very nice good stuff. Actually, this gravy is like the base. You can just boil potatoes 
anything, even if paneer is not available. Okay. Okay, just the vegetables are actually very nicely cooked, but if you want it a little bit more softer, you can cook it. If not, just uh, leave it like that. Okay, just one boil and we are done. Always garnish it with a little bit more coriander. So now we do the plating. Any questions? I know it's a bit complicated dishes today, mm. uh, but you can always message me and I will answer. I try to. Mm. Really? Yeah, nicely, very nicely. What's coming? Anyway, my niece, yeah, my niece's favorite is the paneer. <laughs> yeah, so she's going to finish <laughs> ninety percent of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the rice cup also, I use this normal rice cup that we get. This measuring is easier. Okay, so it all came up to about one liter, and I used maybe about 500, 600 grams of paneer. Uh, two red capsicum, four tomatoes, and you saw me all blending and nicely coming like this. Okay, you can do this gravy and then you can add tofu, soy chunks, anything you want. Okay, this is done. Uh, be careful because now we have lots of milk items here, the cashew paste and all, it will burn. So you have to just keep on stirring. Uh, that is going to be done by Pushpa and I'm going to go to the rice to do the offering today. Okay, let's go. Is it going to just happen? Yeah. Okay. Nice. We are done now. We have uh, got the rice offering nicely. Put some cashew nuts, lots of cashew nuts here. Okay. Some tomatoes. Okay, very nice. Okay, that's it. Final, final. Can you see it? Huh? Can you see? Okay. Yeah, so nice. Don't see. Yes, that's it. Okay, Nirma Acharya Maharaj ki jai. Looks beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. 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 <laughs> I hope everybody tries this and serve all the devotees there. And thank you so much for the little service given to all of us here. Kartika, Maheshwari, Pushpa. Great help. Yeah, great help. <laughs> thank you. Any questions, please ask. And I'm always available. Yeah. <laughs> for the wonderful recipes. We learned today, so and it makes us seem so hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we all are feeling <laughs> hungry now. Oh, there'll be a lot of devotees coming here, so they'll be taking all this prashad. It's a little late for us. <laughs> yeah, for the rice today, it turned out a little bit dry, so uh, maybe another half more cup of water. I have to be honest, you know. So yeah. a little bit more, half more cup. Just now I said five and a half rice. Right? So maybe do a six cup. Maybe this basmati rice is a bit old. Some are um, not so, you know, they were they are quite uh, soft. So I soaked it for half an hour, but maybe six cups of water. Okay, even if it's not cooked, it's okay. At the end, just pour one more cup and close it. Okay, thank you, Didi. Thank you. Uh, I think have a question. Pradesh Didi, you want to ask a question? Yes, I, I want to I want to thank you for sharing all your expertise. Mm -hmm. This is a master cooking class. Thank you. And thank you. I know I know that you will be invited over and over and over again. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I am very happy to see Lopa 
yeah. uh, connected online. Mm -hmm. She's a very nice and intelligent girl that mm -hmm. participates in Bhakti Yoga for kids. Thank you, ma'am. And, and this morning, you're mm -hmm. welcome always to join. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. morning, I thought, hey, I'm going to announce the cooking class also in Bhakti Yoga for, for kids. And uh -huh. tada, here we have Lopa, very smart and intelligent, learning how to cook. So good. Thank you. So we thank you, ma'am. Hare Krishna. 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 Who's going to lead me? Who wants to lead the kitten? I'll share the screen. Everyone can see the screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hare Haraya Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Ha. Hare Haraya Nama Krishna Yadavaya Nama Ha. Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Namaha Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Namaha Gopal Govinda Ram Sri Madhushudana Gopal Govinda Ram Sri Madhushudana Hridari Gopinath Maddana Mohana Hridari Gopinath Maddana Mohana Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Radara Shri Vashadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Daya Rupa Sanatan Bhakta Raghunata Vijiva Gopala Bhatta Dasara Gunata Vijiva Gopala Bhatta Dasara Gunata Echai Goshai Kori Charana Vandana Echai Goshai Kori Charana Vandana Daha Hoite Vignana Shabishta Purana Daha Hoite Vignana Shabishta Purana Echai Goshai Jar Muvitara Dasa Chai go shai chara mui chara dasa Asavara padare nu mora pancha grasa Asavara padare nu mora pancha grasa Adir chara na sebi bhakta shane vasa Aname janame more abilasa Aname janame more abilasa Echai go shai jabbe braja kaila basha Echai go shai jabbe braja kaila basha Adha Krishna Nitya Lila Kurila Prakasha Adha Krishna Nitya Lila Kurila Prakasha Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavana Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavana Guru Vaishnava Pade Majjai Amana Guru Vaishnava Pade Majjai Amana Vi Guru Vaishnava Pad Patma Kari Asha Vri Nama Sankirtana Kohe Narutama Dasha Vri Guru Vaishnava Pad Patma Kari Asha Hari Nama Sankirtana Kohe Narutama Dasha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nitai Goranga Jaya, Nitai Goranga. Nitai Goranga Jaya, Nitai Goranga. Nitai Goranga Jaya, Nitai Goranga. Nitai Goranga Jaya, Gaurahari. Gora, 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 Hari. Gora, 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 Hari. Aya Sachinandana, Gora, Hari. Aya Sachinandana, Gora, Hari. Nitai Goranga Jaya, Nitai Goranga. 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 Nitai Goranga Hari Bol, Nitai Goranga Hari Bol. Nitai Gora Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gora Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Hari Hari Bol, Nitai Hari 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 महाराज <laughs> Jai Shri Chaitanya Sarasat Mati Jai All the same Jai Shri Bhoti Ski Okay, we accept it. Thank you, thank you, we accept it. Thank you to everyone for joining today's session. Um, looking forward to seeing everyone next week, Saturday. Shanta Maharaj will be giving um, a talk on Krishna consciousness is not limited to any particular organization or bodily succession. So we're looking forward to you all joining us for that one. Okay, and um, take care. See you all Thank you. Thank you. See you next week.